learning to move from the hi-hat to the ride cymbal without losing our sense of timing and without getting distracted or confused by uh, the change in uh, mechanics or the change in sound. Um, now I do have a mute on this ride cymbal so um, you're not going to hear it as much. So to start learning how to do this, just start moving your hand in a back and forth motion with your right hand stick. The stick that's crossing your body to play the hi-hat and then you will come into an open hand position to play on the ride. So we're going to start over here, move to the ride, come back to the hat and start to get this motion in a fluid non-stop way, right? And, and keep it slow. Um, where we're going left to right, left to right, almost like you're painting and you're using the back of the brush and then the underside, the back of the brush and then the front side of the brush, right? So now let's put some time to this and we'll play with the kick drum too. We're gonna to add the kick drum to this. So we're gonna play one, two, one, two. So we have hat and then ride and then hat and then ride. And you might find that the most efficient way to hit the ride is like with the back of your stick, right? Because we're coming, we're leading with the back of our hand. You don't have to turn your hand the whole way over and play the ride symbol with your palm down. You can just, like the back of the paintbrush, strike it like that. Okay? One, two, one, two. All right. So the next phase of this is we're going to want to double that. So we're going to double our hands but not double our foot. To double the hands, what we're going to do is keep the kick drum the same, just on one, and we're gonna play one hand, and then move that straight over to the hi-hat and do the exact same thing, two and. All right, so let's put it in time. So we have one and two and. One and two and. With the kick drum on one, each time, If you feel comfortable with that, increase the tempo like this. Keeping that fluid motion of anticipating where you're going to be next. One and two and. Now, let's double that yet again and we'll play one and two and. But it's not going to be that easy. Now we're going to add the back beat. We're going to add the snare drum with the left hand on beat two, like this. One and two and. Stop right there. One and two and. Repeat the exact same thing on the ride cymbal. One and two and. Okay, now put them together. You knew it was coming. Put them together in time, like this. One and two and three. So now when we're playing in say the verse of a song and we're on the hi-hat and we're playing, right? We're gonna extend that to maybe eight bars long. But now you should have the practice to seamlessly transition like this. Four, three, two, and. And you make a nice, easy, a seamless transition from the hi-hat to the ride because we practice the mechanics slowly over and over and over again. And then another couple bars and we move back to the hi-hat. Two, one, and. Here we go. Three, two, one, move. Great job. One more set. Three, two, one, move. Three, two, one, move. And we're done. So, great job.